Something wrong, Professor? A lifetime friendship's what's wrong. What? Forget it. Make sure the security's good and tight, Cliff. This thing is priceless. Don't worry, Professor. You men on the left there, aim higher. That's it, like this. All right, change the spot of flamethrowers. We've got to get this thing melted down before dawn. Closer, huh? Come on. What's your grandfather going to do with it, Jane? Professor Waterman! Professor, Professor, the boss is on the tube. He wants you. Please come, will you? It's incredible. This giant's footprints are five times bigger than those of the Himalayan specimen. That's so? Yes. It's a Yeti, Morgan. Huh? Mm-hmm. Yeti? Never heard of one. What the hell is it? I'll explain, Morgan. We call him the Sasquatch here in Canada. In the States, he's known as the Bigfoot. And in the Himalayas, where his footprints were first discovered, he's called the Yeti, the abominable snowman. Why abominable, I don't know. How the hell did it get out there? An avalanche probably caught him while he was sleeping on the ice millions of years ago. Then perhaps an earthquake caused the ice to break up and fall into the Arctic Ocean. After that, he most likely drifted as an iceberg until he reached the coast of Newfoundland. Yes, that's it. That's only my theory. It hasn't been proved. Your theories are always right. Henry Waterman is a walking encyclopedia. You can save that bull for somebody else, Morgan. I'd never let you publish my work. Now listen to this. This is important. It looks like nature preserved the Yeti in a perfect state. Hey, that's great. We could try and see if we could activate something. Like what? Like the nerves of his hands, or maybe even his heart. We might be able to catch his last heartbeat. It's worth giving it a try. Then try, for gosh sakes. What are you waiting for? I'll need special equipment. Tell me what you need, and then you'll get it like that. While you're at it, send me a few of my colleagues. Paleontologists, doctors, and... And anyone who wants to study the case. And the press, too. Count on it, Henry. Paleontologists, the press, the whole schmear. Anything you want. <laughs> Morgan, you're making a great contribution to science. Hey, don't forget that monster was discovered by my grandson, Herbert Honeycutt. <laughs> don't get excited, Morgan. Take a tranquilizer and go to bed. You're out of your element. We scientists will take care of it. <laughs> no paleontologist, no scientist. That monster is going to be the new Honeycutt Enterprises trademark. Fantastic idea, H.H. The image of nature, uh, the epitome of strength, the power that challenges the centuries, uh, a brute force ready to explode. 
Right. If that monster can be brought back to life, the whole world will be talking about it for years. By golly, it's a priceless publicity stunt for Honeycutt Enterprises. But we must keep it top secret for now. Then we'll take our competitors and the world behind. The Maple Leaf Factors. I don't want any leaks to the press. Not a word about the Yeti's discovery until we're ready with our publicity campaign. Then, sorry. Hello? I want to speak to the boss. Under certain conditions of hibernation, life can be preserved indefinitely. Now look. Look up there, Herbie. You see those wires? They're attached to electrodes, which will register any signs of life in the Yeti. Heartbeat, blood pressure, nerve impulses, brain activity, and so forth. Now, let's see how they're mounting the plexiglass on the container in which they're going to carry it. Okay, lower it down. Now, easy, easy now. Your little brother seems to want to know everything. He's been betting it'll survive. You better look out or you'll get run over. Oh. He's fascinated just watching. Oh, I suppose we've been spoiling the boy, especially my grandfather, who's like a father and mother to him. If science can revive that thing there, then maybe your brother can recover too. They've tried everything, Cliff. Herbie lost his voice when he was in that plane accident in which my father and mother died. Then, as soon as everything is ready, we'll put him in there, and when the helicopter comes, we'll take it away. Well, do you approve, young man? Kirby, we've got to get back for dinner. Bye now. Bye, Jane. So long. There he is, tall and hefty. That big fella. He's in a fix now, though. <laughs> We're sure going to play a dirty trick on him. Poor Yeti. There he was, sleeping peacefully for a million years, then we come along and drag him into this dirty world. I wonder if we have the right to do it. Even in the name of science. Philosophy has no place in science, Professor. I think it should. We've been ignoring it for too long. But this time it's got to be done right. We just can't perform another experiment. He's got to live free, as he likes. Right. Four, three, two, one, zero. 1, 0. 